This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this shattered text effect using GIMP. So I'll go ahead and get started here in GIMP. I'm going to open up a new document by going to File, New, and I want to set the document to 1280 by 720, and that's pixels. I'm going to go to Advanced Options. I always like to start with a transparent background, so I'm going to uh, set this to trans uh, Transparency, where it says Fill With. Go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to fill this in with black. So I'll go to Edit, Fill with Foreground Color, which is set to black by default in GIMP. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add some text to the screen here. So I'm going to grab the text tool. Actually, no, first I'm going to, sw I'm going to swap around the foreground and the background colors. So I'll just switch them around so that white becomes the foreground. And then I'll grab the text tool and then just click on the canvas to get that cursor there. And I'm just going to write, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to write Smash, but you could write whatever you'd like. Uh, the font that I'm using is League Gothic. Uh, you could use whatever, uh, whatever font you'd like. You could use whatever size you'd like. I have this set to League Gothic and the size at 302. You can adjust the size over here by using these arrows like that. And uh, I'll leave that just how that is. That's pretty good. Uh, let me go to the uh, Move tool just to get out of this. I'll go to Layer and Crop to Content. And what I want to do now is grab the alignment tool, which is right here, where it says relative to. We want to set that to image. And I'm going to click on the text to activate that layer. And I'm going to center it up on the canvas vertically and horizontally like that. And once we've done that, let me click off of the uh, move tool to get out of the uh, layers menu. I mean, the uh, alignment menu. What we want to do now is use an image, uh, a broken glass texture to mask over this text here. And I'll have a link to that image in the description of the video. So go ahead and grab that image and click and drag it into GIMP. Let me just bring this down a little bit. I'm just going to take this and click and drag it into GIMP. It's this image right here. I want to rotate that around so that it's horizontally oriented. Uh, let me grab the rotate tool. And I'm just going to click and drag to rotate it around. I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard so that it locks onto 15 degree angles like that. And once we've done that, we can just press enter. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out. And now I want to shrink this down. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Unify Transform tool, which is right here. Click on the image to activate it. And then if you look out here, you're going to notice these two little squares right here. There's a big square and then there's a smaller square, which is more like a diamond. Make sure you're clicking on the larger square uh, and not the smaller diamond on the inside. And then just hold Control and Shift and just scale this down so that it's slightly bigger than the text. Like that. Go ahead and hit Enter to apply that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the visibility of the background layer with, by clicking that little eyeball icon. And then up here with this top layer with the broken glass texture, I'm going to set the mode. I'm going to set that to difference. So go ahead and find difference in here. There it is. And what I'll do now is I'll right click this and go to merge down to finalize that. And what I'll do is I'll turn the visibility of the background back on like that. And then with this smash layer to, uh, selected, I'm going to go to colors, uh, saturation, I'm just going to bring the saturation all the way down so there's no color in there. Click OK. Uh, let me zoom in on this a little closer so I can see it. I'm going to hold Control and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times to zoom in. And then I'll go to Colors and Curves right there. And what I want to do is I just want to darken the cracks in the text here. So I'm going to take this bottom node at the bottom left and just slide that right a little bit. And if you notice on the screen, it's changing the, uh, the darkness there. So I'm going to set that to something like that right there looks pretty good you could even add a little bit more white into it by taking this top node and sliding it to the left but i wouldn't go too far with that i'd go maybe about here that looks pretty good go ahead and click ok to finalize that and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to break off different pieces of this text and separate them from each other like you see that i've done here in the thumbnail in order to help sell this effect a little more so to do that i'm going to grab the paths tool which is right here and I'm going to zoom in on this area right here. Again, to zoom, I'm just holding control and rolling up and down the mouse wheel. I'm going to start outside of the, the text right there. And I'm just going to draw a path by clicking and creating points, going through the cracks, and then around the outside of the text like that. 
and then to close the path I'm going to hold control and click on that original starting point and then I'll press enter on the keyboard to create a selection from it and then I'll right click that and go to select float and over here in the layers menu I want to click this button that says create a new layer and add it to the image and that's going to create a separate layer from that sub that segment of the letter S so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna grab the move tool and I'm just gonna click and drag this away from the rest of the text like that and if you could see oops and you can see that gives us the effect we're going for where we're separating the object. Now I'm going to do that again throughout the rest of the, uh, the word here. I'm going to first click on the uh, layer that says smash the text layer to make sure we have it selected. And I'm going to come down here. Uh, I'm going to grab the uh, paths tool. And I'm just going to draw a path. Oops. Draw a path going through one of the cracks and then the other like that. Back around. And again, we're holding control. And clicking on the original starting point to close it and then press enter on the keyboard to create a selection from it right click the selection go to select float and then make it a new layer by clicking the button that says create a new layer and add it to the image and again we'll go back to the move tool what you could do is you could just press M on the keyboard for the, as the keyboard shortcut for the move tool and for the bezier pen I mean the uh, the paths tool you could press uh, B to grab that so it's, it's, it's easier than coming over here and clicking on these icons over and over again so let me move this out of the way like that let me zoom back out if you'd like to move the page around like you see me doing here you just press down the mouse wheel and move the mouse uh, I'll do this one more time just to help you get the idea a little better I'm gonna click on the original text layer I'm gonna press B on the keyboard to get the uh, paths tool and I'm going to create a line going through one of these cracks here Go through this other one as well. Back around to the starting point. Hold control and click on the original point to connect it all together. Press enter on the keyboard uh, to create a selection. Right click it. Go to select. Float. Create a new layer from it. And then press M on the keyboard to get the move tool. And we can just move this out of the way like that. So you should pretty much get the idea by now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here and do the rest of these letters and I'll just speed it up so that you don't have to sit there and watch me do this because otherwise it would be kind of redundant. So I'll go through this real quick and do all of this and then I'll catch up with you when I'm done. Okay, so as you can see here, I've finished going through the entire word and breaking up the pieces and moving them away from each other. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rotate them around a little bit to help sell the effect a little more. Like you see here in the thumbnail, the, the, the pieces are rotated around. So to do that, you could, you, you'll notice as you click these different layers, you'll see a bounding box selected around each one. That's, that would be the selected layer. So I'm going to grab the original layer. I'm going to grab the rotate tool. And I'm just going to click and drag to rotate it around slightly like that and hit enter to finalize it and then I'll just go through to each layer and do the same thing I'll just rotate it a little bit hit enter to finalize it and then click the next layer and from there it should be pretty self-explanatory and just go through and do the same thing get this layer too. get this layer and this just helps it look a little more whimsical and realistic And then finally, this final one up here. Maybe I'll move that one away a little bit. Okay, so let me zoom out a little bit here. All right, so the next step would be to add a background image here with broken glass bits flying out. Um, we're going to add that behind the text. So I'm going to come down here to the Layers menu. I'm going to click on the background layer to activate that. And I'm going to click and drag. Let me find another of these another one of my images here this broken glass image here I'll have this linked in the description as well just go ahead and click and drag that into GIMP and if you notice here it doesn't quite match up with the text if you look at the cracks in the text it's like it's a uh, it's black whereas this image here is mostly gray so I'm gonna make the gray match the black by going to colors curves and I'll take this node over here in the bottom left and slide that to the right and if you notice the image is changing accordingly and once I get it close enough to the text 
that looks pretty good right there. I'll finalize that by clicking OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back up to the top here in the Layers menu, activate the top, uh, the top layer, right-click that, and go to New from Visible. And what that's going to do is it's going to create an entirely new layer uh, from the entire image. It's just completely flattened, so you could edit everything all at once. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add a touch of blue coloring in here, like you see it, that I did with the thumbnails. Uh, it just helps it make a little better. It makes it look a little better, I think. So we'll go to Colors. We'll go back to Curves. And I'm just going to take this node and bring that up just a tiny bit, just to lighten up the darkness a bit. Maybe I'll bring that down like that. And then where it says Channel, I'll select blue and I'll take this node and I'll bring this up just to add a little bit of blue in there. You don't want to get carried away with it and go with something like that. Unless that's the look you're going for, then go right ahead. But uh, the look I'm going for is right about here. And then I'll come up here to this node and I'll slide this to the left a little bit just to bring out the blue within the image a little more. And if you toggle off the preview, if you toggle that on and off, you can notice there's clearly a difference there. I think it looks a lot better like that with that blue tint added. So I'll go to uh, click OK to finalize that. And as you can see, we are finished. We have created our shattered text effect using GIMP. So uh, if you haven't done so already, please consider joining the Logos by Nick mailing list in order to receive email alerts whenever a new tutorial is posted. Your information won't be sold to or shared with anyone else, and you will never receive any kind of spam or promotional emails from me whatsoever. The only time you'll ever receive an email from me is when a new tutorial is posted, and you'll get to watch it on the Logos by Nick website without any third-party advertisements interrupting your learning experience. So go ahead and check the link in the description if you're interested in that. It's free to join. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.